Hello everyone, my name is Dominic Wilson. I am technical campaign consultant with Refusion. I am here to talk about uh, dynamic uh, content in email templates a little bit. It is something that we often get asked about. Uh, so I'm just gonna do a very top level uh, introduction to dynamic content in email templates. Um, what it is exactly, um, why you would want to use it and what some of the considerations are if you want to try and use it in your own email templates. So when we talk about uh, dynamic content in email, we really are talking about um, using specific rule sets to interrogate the, cus the customer's um, data profile and adapt the content of the template accordingly. Um, really, it's, it's not basic personalization where you're just merging in the customer's name, but you're actually using defined rule sets to say, uh, look at the customer's data and uh, provide different content uh, accordingly. So a good example of using dynamic content in email um, came up recently where we were sending emails to um, tradesmen, um, but specifically if a recipient was an electrician, um, we would provide them with a voucher that they could use. Um, so essentially we're sending the same email template to everybody, but at point of send, the system was looking up the data profile of the customer. And if they were marked as an ele electrician, then it was going to put in an extra block of content that contained the voucher for them to use. Um, everybody else wouldn't see the voucher. Um, so that's a, that's a good use where you're just sending one email template, but it's, uh, sending out multiple variants and it's dividing up based on the customer's data profile. So what are the benefits of uh, using dynamic content within an email? Um, it means that you are delivering multiple variants through just one single uh, HTML build. Um, and that will obviously um, decrease the amount of um, development time, your QA time. And if it's a template that's being used as part of an ongoing automation, then uh, ongoing maintenance will uh, be quicker as well. Um, the, the, the second benefit really is that, you know, it, it's all about um, personalizing and targeting um, content. Uh, to specific customers. So, uh, you know, your, your customers are going to get a much better um, experience because the content that you're providing them is has been uh, matched to their particular data profile. Um, and they will be obviously more inclined to um, uh, in, engage with your template on that basis. So considerations, if you want to use dynamic content in your email templates, first of all, you're going to need a service provider that uh, supports it. Um, most of the large ESPs such as um, Salesforce, uh, Adobe and Oracle will support it. Um, for some of the smaller ones, you might need to check with your vendor um, to see if that's actually going to be possible. Um, you'll also need to know exactly how to apply the dynamic uh, content into those um, templates. Um, they may have specific syntax or use JavaScript coding, for example, um, to put the uh, put the dynamic content in there. Um, so you'll need to look into that and make sure you have a good understanding of how that's going to work for your developers. Um, as well, you're going to need um, good data hygiene. Um, so in the example I used earlier, um, we needed to have uh, the, um, the profession uh, of the recipients against the customer data. Um, so if you've got missing data, you mean you, you can put rules in that, that says um, apply them the a default setting. Um, but really, if, if, if you want to be putting in dynamic content based on very specific criteria, then you're going to need to have that um, data uh, against your customers. Um, and it's going to need to be as up to date as possible and um, as much data hygiene uh, as you can. So that concludes a very brief overview of dynamic content and email templates. Um, if you'd like to find out more or comment about my ridiculous lockdown here, um, there'll be contact details below. Um, we will be releasing more videos uh, shortly. So watch this space. Thank you very much. Bye.